my welly. Boys, Four in the morning, sunny Brighton. Early, too early for me. Um, lines confusing the heck out of Sean. It's time to go to Grand Canary. Definitely know something up. I'll see you in a week, buddy. Love you lots. <laughs> Love you, Bubba Dub. It's a video. So we're off to Grand Canaria. Canaria meaning island of dogs. Grand must be for, I don't know, grandma. It's a mid-Atlantic island formed by volcanic eruption, blessing it with black sandy beaches, dramatic landscapes of awe-inspiring beauty, and rocks that look like penises. They produce a shed ton of bananas, and the orange juice is just the best. I've been lucky enough to be invited on a sail with three lovely people on a 46-foot charter boat. The idea of the trip being to rack up some nautical miles and a night passage to prepare for the Yachtmaster exams. It was right about here I remembered I'd left the oven on at home. There's a lot of windmills there. Not a big fan. It was time to settle in and try and get past the cringe factor of recording a voiceover. Alright, well we all made it to Grand Canaria. There's a quick boat tour. Brief boat tour, won't go too into it, but we're on a do four four sixty, so a forty six footer. And meet the crew, little gangplank, twin helm. Ooh, there's a Beth. Hey Beth. Hello. And let's go straight into the cabin. Start with a life of luxury. Downstairs, <laughs> there's a rum man. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello, Lawrence. What about the sink? <laughs> These sinks blocked, which is the kind of level of class you expect from these uh, from these boats. Plenty of headroom, mod cons. We won't go too much into it because we'll be here forever. Let's go and have a look outside. Beautiful day out, the cold water. But yeah, as I say, we've got a huge cockpit area, twin helms. I think I'm repeating myself. Oh, huge beam on it. Mahusive in mast reefing. And a big old Genoa as well. Radar up the front. But yeah, all 46 foot of her. Um, which is nuts. What an awesome, awesome opportunity to sail an awesome and beautiful boat. There she is. Super hot sun. Possibly the coldest water in the world. There was a few things about the charter company we didn't fully trust. So we figured we'd give the outboard a go. And, uh, and see if she runs. Got her running for a bit, then struggled and realised we were being absolute muppets. Super nice to be there, and this should make an amazing week of sailing with some lovely, lovely people. 
all the boats in this marina seem to focus around this one. Um, by the looks of things, he's a real pillar of the community. Nothing more common than a hedgehog eating cat food. <laughs> Boom, welcome to day two in Marina Bayview, Grand Canaria. Here we are. Um, so yeah, last night, very much just sort of getting settled. We were hoping to plot more of a route and stuff, but we were battered from two hours sleep and the joys of travel. Um, but we're here. Um, this morning we've just been faffing about with the tender, being idiots, trying to get the engine to work. Uh, and we're about to head off on our on our first voyage, just go and get a feel for the boat, see how she handles, and yeah, that's pretty much the day's itinerary, as far, far as we got anyway, we'll figure it out. Now you might be wondering, that's a funny place to put some drone footage. This is the last footage we've got. It was around here that James crashed his drone into the shrouds. You had a slight buzz followed by a curse word and a plop. <laughs> Wait, I want to do that as well. There is absolutely fluff all wind at this point. Doing about 0 0.6 knots, I think. Found ourselves in Anchorage for the night. Not a shabby spot at all. Uh, bit of a dicky depth sounder though, so we might not stay here for long. We're gonna have to do anchor watch. Um, but we are totally alone. No phone signal, beautiful sunset. And it's just us out here on a rocky, rocky island. Right. The word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is cold. So we're doing shifts, anchor watch. Um, we are drifting a little bit. I'll show you on the screen. Maybe even up here. We'll work it out. A uh, little increments overnight. So we're just um, taking in shifts to stay awake and keep an eye out. Um, as we're here overnight and tomorrow, we're going to stop off at a port somewhere, stock up on on some sods and then um, sail a night sail over to Tenerife which is we can see lit up on the horizon which is pretty cool um, as I showed you in my little anchorage video earlier we are totally alone out here 
it's awesome. And the sky is just mind blowing. Um, I can't get a half decent shot of it on camera. Uh, that's pretty much it for the day. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Six in the um, AM. We're currently down the south of Grand Canaria. Um, we've just been talking about a plan, more like a mutiny against the other two that are asleep, <laughs> um, to, to stick the engine on, lift the anchor, and uh, start start heading where? Where are we going? That way. Take us west <laughs> in in real time. Why are we going? We need supplies. We need two, probably two or three hours journey, and uh, we're both awake. It's dark. It's fun. We need to sleep in the day, I think. Yeah. Keep you updated. Peace. No one living there at all. Completely uninhabited bit. So we had to motor around this corner here, um, the northerly wind, so we were south of the island, getting completely sheltered. The moment we came round, da -da 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 -da. We've got some speed up, we're healing for the first time, and we're covering some ground, baby. I think I could film all day here. We're aiming for that over there. It's charted as a port, but we're hoping there's a little anchorage. We could just chuck in and get some stuff. Picturesque little village. What a cool place. Just heading in tonight. Things unfortunately took a little bit of a turn here. As in boat life, accidents sometimes happen. On cinco kilometers. Cinco kilometers, okay. So we had a bit of an accident with uh, Lawrence's finger. Bless his cotton socks. We really just went to the hospital and got a couple of stitches. So this hatch is the uh, culprit for Lawrence's finger. I'll try and do this video sat down because it's a bit choppy. Um, but it's a lifting platform. It's been bodged with this piece of string to hold it up. And there's two hydraulic bins down there that are long gone and seen better days. Uh, this was up and it came slamming down and caught his finger there. Uh, hopefully he's not broken or lost it, but um, it was seven stitches. Seven stitches. Uh, but they were incredible here, amazing. We went up to the, uh, got him patched up as best we could, tended him over there, and a uh, lovely guy at the beach drove us to the hospital. Hello James. Hello Rosa. Second most relaxing thing in the world. 
Morning. Or evening. I think we're going to call it day four. But um, it's half ten at night, day three. Okay, day four. We're doing a night passage over to Tenerife. Um, managed to get a few hours sleep before heading off. Um, so I got for you. Can't really see it on the video, but we've got the bioluminescent plankton. It's amazing. It's mind blowing. I got a little bit too excited by the bioluminescence. That's Tenery. Uh, we set sail at about half eleven. Uh, got a boat speed of nine point nine knots. Um, we were hanging around the eight knots for a lot of it. Um, we had Beth yakking up from seasickness, which was great fun. Um, but we're almost there, and that bioluminescent plankton was just incredible. Still there, just can't see it. Battered lines. Never being so desperate to get on a bit of foam on a bit of plywood. Not all angels wear capes. There are more planes in the sea than submarines in the sky. Pretty excited for this poop. Mammothy. Look at its rigging. Boof. We shared some food, we shared some stories, we talked about the stories we were making. And most importantly, we shared a shed ton of laughter. So we ended up staying at uh, Marina last night. Um, I think the original plan was to stay at Anchorage's as much as possible. Um, but with Lawrence's finger, um, I think we're gonna hop to another Marina for tonight. We're gonna head up to Las Palmas. Uh, up the north side of Gran Canaria. Um, all the wind comes from the north, so it should be a pretty Pretty speedy chip, and um, yeah, it'll be nice to sail in daylight today. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. Feel free.
Muchas gracias. Set up on a port tack. I think we're gonna be here for a couple of hours. We're only doing three knots. Uh, so we're gonna take this opportunity to catch up on some snoozing. I was having a nap and I woke up to these guys sticking a ring. What base speed we got there? Six knots. Okay, winner. Still got 25 knots to go. Um, I had a little snooze and uh, I woke up to a crash drive. Uh, they were putting the bimini down at the back, which is just the cover for shade and stuff. And uh, James stepped on the autopilot and uh, and the boat bore away and crash drives, which is a wonderful thing to wake up to. Back pizza. Got weird, my welly. Nearly 12 hours since we set off and Skull Island and the mystery of King Kong. That was one hell of a fluffy trip, wasn't it? <laughs> Take it away, Lawrence. How was your passage today? A bastard. <laughs> so let me just explain something why I got the shits. <laughs> I'm working on roofs all the time. The average pitch of a roof in the UK is 45 degrees. And at that point, you can get off a ladder and push the tiles up and you can walk up it. So I know angles really, really well. At its highest point of the day, I was looking on top of you. We must have been at a minimum. Cussing. A minimum of 70 degrees. There's no way that was at 45 degrees. No way in a million years. It was beyond 45. Could have been 60, but it weren't 45. And it definitely weren't 30. Tell me about the waves. Look, the waves. Right. So those waves, when I was absolutely... By the way, I did, is he filming this? I uh, couldn't get into the toy. Yeah, he is, isn't it? <laughs> they weren't a metre or two metres when those big ones came in. So I use a length of copper pipe as a, as a, as a thing. They're three metres long when I'm plumbing. And at the peak, when, when you actually got up and I could see you panicking, it was way beyond the length of copper tube. <laughs> it was two lengths of copper tube. Yes. It was between three and six metres, those big ones that were coming in. Without a doubt. 
So we've made it to a place called Port Morgan. Um, don't hold me to that name, it gets very confusing. Uh, it's on the south southwest of Grand Canaria. Um, we set sail this morning at 6.30 and got here at 8 p.m. So 13 and a half hours sailing. 20 to 30 knot winds, some quite choppy stuff out there, uh, which cost us a fair bit of speed, but very exhilarating. Um, few issues with uh, autopilot uh, being accidentally turned off. Um, but other than that, went off more or less without a hitch. Uh, had to do some reefing. Um, but we're here safe and sound and we had a great time. Uh, everybody's super tired now, so I think we're going to switch it up into sort of holiday, holiday mode just a little bit. And I'm just about ready for a warm bath with a toaster. That tiny little thing, it looks like a fake miniature one. Just enjoy it. The marina in daylight. So it's day six. We're in a pretty stunning marina. We've all kind of gone into relax mode, I think. We're going to go holiday mode uh, and we're not allowed to stay in the marina, we've got to leave here by one, but there is an anchorage just over there. And we're going caving. Um, and me and Beth might go caving. Um, so we might pop out and do some training, sailing, like man overboards and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just, just play around with uh, boat syllabus stuff and then anchor come back to this lovely little town. Boat yard seems to have a lot of steel boats. Great name for a steel boat. Still not as good as the boat name. Look at me now, Dad. There she is. And there's a dolphin search trip where you will definitely maybe see a dolphin. We're getting great swimming today. Guess what I got? Guess. Yes. Pop. Something that pops. <laughs> That's not one of that. We headed ashore and to the beach, trying to do a little spot of diving and see what we could see. Unfortunately, I think because there was lots of people around and maybe the quality of the water in that area, we didn't really see much in terms of fish. Actually, sweet FA. But we did find a jumper. We did see some rocks. And we saw a pussy cat. James, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
conspiracists. Here we got a minute of underwater footage, which I think I will leave you with some nice, calming, relaxing music for. Oh, wrong one. Puerto Rico, we're coming to you, baby. Au revoir, Port Morgan. That was really nice to have a little holiday break. Um, we're sailing back to where this boat was chartered from now, Port Royal. Um, we've only got the jib up. Uh, there's a problem with the inmast reefing. It's not particularly my forte, but it's jammed in. So, uh, so no joy. We're just going to fly on the jib until we get home. We haven't got far to go. Uh, today's just a, a little sail for leisure. Might do some training. Who knows? Over. It's all packed in there like a tight little burrito. Uh, we tried a couple of things, but uh, I'm not really in the mindset of fixing charter boats. We've only got to go to today's. Uh, High rise buildings over there. Sociable lot. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> Trying to work out what just went ping. It drops a bit quick, doesn't it? Fierce chilli. It's good, isn't it? But it's not as good as some king of the band. Yeah. Nice. Ah! Wait, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, there you go. Hello. I can't watch. Oh, me neither. I can't watch. There's a light confrontation about Lawrence's finger. Yeah. Grassy roundabout for our dogs to play on. <laughs> yeah! Boom! Oh my god, he's in the f***ing chair! I was giving it a bit of worry anyway. told the waiter it was my birthday. Yes, not. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to Tyler! P.S. <laughs> it's not really his birthday. How do you feel about leaving? Sad. Good. Good story. Seacock for the uh, engine water intakers. It's gone. You don't light up my life. We've all seen what a broken swim platform can do. Oh.
marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. Top dollar. And my finger is not hurting. How's your week been? Well, we came, we conquered, sailed, we had fun. It's a bit different to uh, the Grand Canary, isn't Such it? Such a contrast. Oh, it's just so magical. I wanted to think of something to say at the end of this video. Maybe even write something, something profound, witty, funny, I don't know. You can't really sum it up. It's been an amazing week doing something I love so much that comes so naturally to me. Being on the water, meeting lovely people. It's nice to take a week just to regroup, refresh and recap. Thanks a lot for watching.